topic of presentation is immunological disorders of oral cavity this is the table of content these are the learning objective that is various types of uh, immunological diseases classification the etiology of immunological diseases and management so coming to the introduction autoimmunity is defined as uh, the presence of immune response against self target and it may harmless phenomena however the autoimmune disease can occur if this response is causes significant organ damage the term autoimmune disease uh, refer to disorder in which there is a evidence of immune response against self so auto autoimmune diseases may be primarily uh, due to either uh, antibodies or immune cells but common characteristic is presence of lymphocytic infiltration in target organ so uh, example include type 1 uh, diabetic mellitus uh, autoimmune thyroiditis uh, jogren syndrome sle multiple sclerosis so uh, circulating antibody can uh, often uh, detected in uh, in vitro by test that uh, demonstrate antibody binding to appropriate human uh, tissue surf uh, tissue surfaces so uh, it uh, the, the, uh, it is a condition in which the structural uh, or functional damage is caused by immunological competent cells or uh, auto ant uh, antibodies against normal component of the body so coming to the pathophysiology Uh, immunity that is uh, protection against disease so uh, the immune system immune system's primary function is protection against infection so it it neutralizes foreign or non self uh, antigen that are expressed by the large variety of microbial agent as well as the, some tumors this uh, coordinated system must be able to uh, perceive antigen as foreign so and generates uh, activation signals and produce variety of effector proteins that neutralize pathogens or activate other cells and down regulate inflammatory process once the foreign agent is eliminated uh, so this uh, immune response is important for the body uh, to for the defense mechanism coming to the classification so coming to the introduction autoimmunity is defined as uh, these are the systemic autoimmune diseases with oral uh, manifestation so we will see one by one first one is a jogren syndrome uh, chronic uh, systemic uh, autoimmune disorder involving the salivary and lacrimal glands resulting in xerophthalmia and xerostomia combination of dry mouth and dry eyes uh, it is a uh, called as sicca syndrome so eye damage is called as keratoconjunctivitis sicca the exact etiology is not uh, known and both cellular immunity and humor, uh, humoral immunity is involved in this syndrome so in some patient there is only mouth uh, and only eyes are involved in other uh, the other autoimmune uh, uh, diseases also involved in 50% of patient with jogren syndrome have uh, another uh, autoimmune diseases such as the uh, rheumatoid arthritis and sle coming to the classification so in second uh, secondary jogren syndrome there is a characteristic signs of signs and symptoms of jogren uh, syndrome as well as uh, the uh, patient showing features of rheumatic arthritis sle uh, scleroderma and biliary cirrhosis so in etiology uh, it is a unknown and most commonly it is a genetic associated factor involved auto uh, immune diseases certain histocompatible uh, antigens epstein barr virus and human t lymphotropic virus uh, it uh, the, the, uh, it is a condition in which the structural uh, or functional damage is caused by immunological competent cells or uh, auto ant uh, antibodies against normal component of the body in 
zero stomia there is a decrease in salivation uh, salivary secretion from the saliva and there is a lack of pulling in floor of mouth there is a difficulty in sw uh, swallowing uh, mostly there is a, a patient a patient shows a fissure tongue and atrophy of papillae in radiographic feature in early stage there is a punctured and globular collection of contrast agent evenly distributed throughout the gland but in progressive uh, stage there is a few and less formally uh, distribution of gland and there is irregular in shape and there, there is a greater than 2 mm uh, co uh, collection of contrast agent is seen and in uh, later stage there is a dilation of main ductal system and uh, at the end point there uh, there is a destruction of gland seen in radiographically in other investigation in was cytometry cytochemistry scintigraphy ultrasonography cytogram and label and uh, major uh, salivary gland biopsies so in etiology uh, it is a unknown and most commonly it is a genetic associated factor involved auto uh, immune diseases certain histocompatible uh, antigens epstein barr virus and human t lymphotropic virus so in management of zero stomia special in uh, jogren syndrome uh, there should be preventive therapy and system uh, systematic therapy in preventive therapy uh, it should be fluoride therapy meticulous oral hygiene oral infection should be eliminated and in systemic there is uh, there should be uh, increase intake of water environmental humidifier oral rinses moisturizing creams uh, anti fungal uh, therapy and commercial saliva substitutes in salivary stimulation there is a local topical stimulation for example chewing uh, well then uh, chewing with gums and mint then electrical stimulation in systemic stimulation that uh, there uh, one can advise bromohexine pilocarpine hydrochloride and sevimelin hydrochloride then coming to the scleroderma uh, here there is a excessive fibrosis uh, throughout the body especially in skin that describe a group of uh, clinical disorder characterized by thickening and uh, fibrosis of the skin so uh, there is uh, there uh, one can uh, notice a claw hand mask like face of the patient uh, there is a microvascular disease also presents in some uh, patients also the uh, the generalized form systemic sclerosis is multi systemic uh, connective tissue disorder disease in which fibrosis extend to internal organ include the heart uh, lung kidney and gastrointestinal tract coming to the etiology and pathogenesis of scleroderma the etiology of scleroderma is unclear but pathogenesis is characterized by vascular damage and accumulation so uh, cd4 t cells accumulate for some uh, reason in this kind of uh, disease the t cell releases cytokine that activates mast cell and macrophage which release fibrogenic cytokines uh, so the cause of microvascular uh, changes is unknown but there is a uh, renault phenomena which is mostly seen in the uh, scler uh, scleroderma uh, the renal phenomena is most common initial finding of uh, the scleroderma it is a marked initial hyperplasia of uh, digital arteries narrow narrows the uh, vessels and uh, stimuli such as the cold that uh, normally stimulate vasoconstriction can cause complete obstruction of blood flow to fingertips so more than 95% scleroderma patient eventually experience a more severe form of uh, digital cyanosis numbness and blanching found with the renal phenomena in uh, cutaneous manifestation there uh, there include skin thickening uh, uh, which begin in the finger hands in uh, almost all cases in oral manifestation the lips become rigid and the oral aperture narrows considerably and uh, oral telangiectasia uh, is equally prevalent in both limited and uh, diffuse form of scleroderma and it is most commonly observed in a hard palate and lips so we will
will see one by one. First one is the Jogram syndrome, a uh, chronic uh, systemic uh, autoimmune disorder involving the salivary and lacrimal glands, resulting in xerophthalmia and xerostomia. So, in some patient there is only mouth uh, and only eyes are involved. In other, uh, the other autoimmune uh, uh, diseases also involve. In 50% of patient with Jogram syndrome have uh, another uh, autoimmune diseases such as the rheumatoid arthritis and SLE. So coming to the uh, uh, clinical oral manifestation, uh, the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis can cause oral manifestation. So the long term use of uh, methotrexate and uh, other uh, anti-rheumatic agents causes uh, stomatitis and oral ulcer ulceration. So you can appreciate the, uh, their uh, this oral candidiasis in 24 year old woman with rheumatoid arthritis and secondary Jogren syndrome which is treated with the TNF alpha blocking agents and prednisone. So then coming to the pempigus vulgaris, pempigus is autoimmune disease in which intraepithelial vesicles and bully of the skin and oral mucosa are produced by the action of autoantibodies against specific uh, desmosomal glycoproteins. It is uh, given in uh, which man? Pemping in Greek means it is a bubble or bluster, blister and the uh, immune reaction against uh, these glycoproteins causes loss of cell to cell adhesion resulting in formation of intraepithelial bully. Pempigus can be life-threatening diseases, hence early diagnosis and treatment is essential. The diagnosis is based on the clinical presentation and confirmation by histological and immunofluorescence disease. So in uh, Pempigus vulgaris is uh, most common type uh, that is accounting 80% uh, of cases. In uh, most cases, the disease develops slowly, uh, usually taking up to 7 months from the time of onset to diagnosis. And usually oral lesions appear before the skin lesion may be uh, more persistent uh, than skin lesions. And these are the systemic autoimmune diseases with oral uh, manifestation. So coming to the etiology of uh, pempigus, uh, drugs that is penicillamine causing pempigus, diet uh, uh, con conducted uh, garlic, viruses that SSV8 uh, and others. So coming to the pathophysiology. Uh, immunity that is uh, protection against disease so uh, the immune system immune system's primary function is protection against infection so it, it neutralize foreign or non self uh, antigen that are expressed by the large variety of microbial agent as well as the, some tumors this uh, coordinated system so coming to the clinical manifestation uh, with the skin there is a lesion rarely pruritic but often painful uh, primary lesions are flaccid and blister. Uh, it can occur any surface. There is a positive Nicolsius sign on the skin. In oral, uh, there is an initial vestibular villus lesion which readily rupture and ulcerate. In advanced uh, disease, it is manifest as a severe uh, disquamative and uh, erosive gingivitis mainly on attached gingiva. So, uh, in oral uh, manifestation, there are uh, 
mostly vesicle formation these are the learning objective that is various types of uh, immunological diseases classification the etiology of immunological diseases and management so the uh, another uh, characteristic sign of the disease is that pressure to the apparently normal side gives a new lesion that is called as nikolsky sign so you, here you can appreciate uh, with uh, uh, in the picture that is when uh, there is a pressure applied that is no normal apparently site on the body so there is a uh, formation of a new lesion hence it is a positive sign positive nikolsky sign coming to the classification so in uh, the oral lesion may begin as a classical bulla or non inflamed base a thin layer of epithelium peels away in irregular pattern leaving denuded base the edges of the uh, lesion continue to extend peripherally over a period of weeks until they involve large portion of oral mucosa so most commonly the lesion starts on the buccal mucosa often in area of trauma along the occlusal plane the palate and the gingiva are other common site of involvement so eventually large denuded area can become secondarily infected and require uh, treatment the gingival involvement may manifest as discomative gingivitis the corneal erosions are specifically seen so next coming to the bullous pemphigoid it is a common epidermal uh, blister uh, blistering disease uh, mostly occur uh, above the 60 years of patient which is which is self limiting one episode and a recurrent episode and recurrent uh, lesions are present last uh, it lasts for the few uh, months to 5 years and associated with the multiple sclerosis and malignancies so in clinical feature involved there is a tense blisters characteristically blisters on the inflamed base that chiefly involve scalp arm legs axilla and groin the pruritic molecules and papules are seen and after rupturing the area become eroded in xerostomia there is a decrease in salivation uh, salivary secretion frothy saliva and there is a lack of pulling in floor of mouth there is a difficulty in so, uh, swallowing uh, mostly there is a, a patient a patient shows a fissured tongue and atrophy of papillae in laboratory studies there is a elevated uh, levels of serum igge 70% of cases uh, involved and the peripheral blood eosinophilia seen in 50% of cases so in immunopathology there is a direct immunofluorescence and indirect immunofluorescence in direct immunofluorescence igg bound to epidermal basement membrane is seen and in indirect uh, immunofluorescence there is a circulating igg antibodies most predominantly that is 70% of cases uh, that are seen in histopathology unilocular sub epidermal blisters uh, are seen and the uh, eosinophilic eosinophils are predominantly cells in blister cavity and underlying dermis uh, appreciated in uh, mucous membrane uh, pemphigoid that is called as a cica tracheal pemphigoid it is a chronic autoimmune subepithelial disease and primarily affect the mucous membrane of patient over the age of 50 years resulting in uh, mucosal blistering ulceration subsequent uh, uh, scarring and clinically mmp is uh, involved i uh, oral cavity uh, pharyngeal mucosa on immunopathologic basis auto antibody produced by mmp patient targets on one of the several different auto antigen in mucosal or epithelial basement membrane zone so coming to the epidemiology 
uh, it is a true incidence that is uh, not clear and seven times less common than the bullous pen fever it is uh, no known uh, racial and geographic predilection seen mostly occur in uh, women uh, uh, exact causes unknown few reports uh, mmp are triggered by medications so in clinical presentation oral lesions occur in more than 90% of uh, patient with mmp oral manifestation may be variable often include discomatic gingivitis associated with severe gingival erythema and frank ulceration these discomatic uh, lesions resemble the lesion of erosive lichen planus and pemphigus so the intact vesicles are uh, seen rarely in the oral cavity and ulceration may uh, present with the pseudo membrane consisting of necrotic tissue so superficially slogging of oral mucosa is common and most uh, patients are uh, symptomatic so cl- uh, clinical uh, clinical manifestation uh, involve uh, inability to eat and uh, chewing certain type of food and there is uh, severe halitosis in this patient so in immunofluorescence study involves uh, direct immunofluorescence staining studies showing a linear pattern of homogeneous fluorescence and the main antigen involved here is IgG so occasionally IgA C3 C4 may be also found uh, location that uh, there is a lo- uh, lower part of lamina uh, lucida of the basement membrane in circulating antibodies to basement membrane zone are found hence the indirect immunofluorescence is of uh, diagnostic value in uh, mucous membrane uh, pemphigoid that is called as a sicca tracheal pemphigoid it is a chronic autoimmune subepithelial disease and primarily affect the mucous membrane of patient over the age of 50 years resulting in uh, mucosal blistering ulceration subsequent uh, s- uh, scarring and clinically mmp is uh, involved i uh, oral cavity uh, pharyngeal mucosa on immunopathologic basis autoantibody produced by mmp patient targets on one of the several different auto antigen in mucosal or epithelial basement membrane zone in laboratory studies there is a elevated uh, levels of serum igge 70% of cases uh, involved and the peripheral blood eosinophilia seen in 50% of cases so in immunopathology there is a direct immunofluorescence and indirect immunofluorescence in direct immunofluorescence igg bound to epidermal basement membrane is seen and in indirect uh, immunofluorescence there is a circulating igg antibodies most predominantly that is 70% of cases uh, that are seen so it is a syndrome rather than the specific disease entity and include a wide, wide spectrum of disease activity and signs and symptoms that are uh, ranges from the lesion confined to the skin to the widespread debilitating and life threatening disease with the multiple organ involvement and it is usually chronic uh, progressive with the period of remission and exacerbation in pathogenesis involved there is a increase in uh, activity of hum- uh, humeral limb of the immune system in conjunction of abnormal function of t lymphocyte genetic factors probably play a role but uh, causes uh, causes unknown both cellular and humoral um, uh, immunity are impaired in this patient autoantibodies to the patient dna are present in serum these circulating antibodies are responsible for the positive anti nuclear antibodies in xerostomia there is a decrease in salivation uh, salivary secretion frothy saliva and there is a lack of pulling in floor of mouth there is a difficulty in sw- uh, swallowing uh, mostly there is a, a patient a patient shows a fissured tongue and atrophy of papillae
सो इन द ओरल रीजन मे बिगीन एज अ क्लासिकल बुला और नॉन इन्फ्लेम बेस अ थीन लेयर ऑफ इपिथेलियम पील्स अवे इन इरेग्युलर पैटर्न लिविंग रेन्यूडेड बेस द एजेस ऑफ द लीजन कंटिन्यू टू एक्सटेंड पेरिफेरली ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ वीक्स अंटील दे इन्वॉल्व लार्ज पोर्शन ऑफ ओरल म्यूकोजा सो मोस्ट कॉमनली द लीजन स्टार्ट ऑन द बकल म्यूकोजा ऑफन इन एरिया ऑफ स्ट्रॉमा अलॉन्ग द अक्लूजल फ्लेम द पैलेट एंड द जिंजावा आर अदर कॉमन साइट ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो इन जॉइंट सिम्टम्स इन्क्लूड पेनफुल जॉइंट एंड माइल्ड स्वेलिंग नॉन डिफॉर्मिंग टाइप ऑफ अर्थराइटिस हेन्स नो रेडियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस पेशंट ऑल्सो एक्जिबिट रेनॉल्ड फेनॉमिना एलिसाइटेड बाय द प्लेसिंग द पेशंट्स हैंड इन द आईस विच विच विल प्रोड्यूस वैसो कंस्ट्रिक्शन एंड वैसो डायलेशन क्रिएटिंग सो कॉल्ड पेट्रियोटिक साइंस विच इज रेड व्हाइट और ब्लू चेंजेस इन द स्किन कलर सो इन ऑक्युलर मैनिफेस्टेशन इन्क्लूड ब्लड विजन ट्रांजियन ब्लाइंडनेस कंजक्टिवाइटिस एंड फोटोफोबिया देर इज अ फ्लवी कॉटन वूल स्पॉट कॉल्ड एज अ साइटॉड बॉडीज ऑन रेटिना बाय स्लीट लैम्प और ऑप्थालमोस्कोप एग्जामिनेशन सो इन ओरल मैनिफेस्टेशन इन्क्लूड ओरल लीजन्स ऑकर ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ पेशंट लीजन्स यूजली ऑन द पैलेट पकल म्यूकोजा एंड जिंजावा appears uh, it appears as a uh, lichenoid areas lupus chilitis involvement of permian uh, border of lip varying uh, degree of ulceration pain uh, erythema present may mimic uh, as a marginal gingivitis so coming to the introduction autoimmunity is defined as uh, the presence of immune response against self target and it may harmless phenomena however the autoimmune disease can occur if this response is causes significant organ damage the term autoimmune disease uh, refer to disorder in which there is a evidence of immune response against self so auto autoimmune diseases may be primary in histopathologically uh, there is a edemans kind inflammatory cells seen uh, there is a extravasation of the erythrocytic cells the uh, also there is a fibrin deposition in immunofluorescence circulating autoantibody are found in majority of patient specifically igm is found and rarely c3 in direct immunofluorescence shows granular uh, fluorescence of igm at basement membrane and in indirect it shows uh, autoantibody and sle uh, antigen as well as nuclear antibodies so uh, treatment involves supportive care and sets for flare up hydroxy uh, cl- uh, chloro- uh, chloroquine and hydro- uh, systemic uh, corticosteroid uh, fregimen for 3a and uh, 3b but there is a uh, renault phenomena which is mostly seen in the uh, scler- uh, scleroderma uh, the renault phenomena is most common initial